Hey guys, Reckless Owners here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remake the bass line from the Yesnay, Charmy, Milan, Mirasur, made in France. So, the final result will sound like this. Yo, before we get started, I wanna know one thing. <laughs> So now we're gonna dive into the preset. So if you're on this baseline and for the more other presets, in the style of Chami, MLA, and Confession, make sure to check Bass House Room 4 and our preset pack find all the sounds you need to make this kind of style of music. So now let's start making with the baseline. We're gonna make it from scratch. So it's like basic shapes. We're gonna go for this triangle wave table, lower it down one octave. Shape envelope 1 like this, with no sustain, decay a little bit down, and just slightly more release. Some attack to it as well, just around 60. Now we're gonna shape the filter, we're gonna use the PN12 filter. It's a multi filter, it's a peak and a notch combined, and that's why it's called PN. So we're gonna have the cutoff around here. This one's gonna be the notch. It's gonna be the resonance that's controlling that. So the resonance is gonna be the peak, it's around here. And then the frequency is gonna be the notch, just in the low end. Cut off a little bit lower. Add a little bit of drive to it. And then enable the mono just to avoid overlapping notes and bass line. Then the last thing we're gonna do is put on the randomness. So every time the wave table starts at the same point, this is kind of the same as the re trick in silence. So just make sure to enable that in your bass lines. Then we're gonna shape it with a hyper dimension, just a little bit of hyper. Size all the way down and mix around here. Just give some more gives a wider perception of the baseline. Then we're gonna add some distortion. We're gonna use the dead one. And the drive front here. We're gonna add a full one to the drive as well. So the rate to 1.8 trigger. Besides that we forgot to add the LFO to the level as well. Cause in the track you hear that the sound is slightly moving so that's why we use the LFO for that. Lower down the LFO in the drive to run here. Now we're gonna add some phaser because the sound is quite facing. Frequency just one here. Mix slightly back so just one here. Add some OTT with a threshold on here, we're gonna boost mix to 150. So right now it's really destroying the sound, but we're gonna filter it later on. But first we're gonna add a chorus. Just gonna hear this will really shape the sound to the final result. So leave it quite high. Now we're gonna add a filter. We're gonna use a different NFO for that. So we're gonna reuse the low 24. Let's go to the cutoff, set the trigger, shape it just like this, cut off all the way down, and add all the way up, add a little bit of resonance, just like we did in the previous filter, add some drive to put up to get a volume at a normal level, and then to finish it off, we're gonna add some cueing to open up the highs a little bit more. So lower down the frequency, just something like this. So we're gonna shape the cutoff a little bit, just like this. So in the track, it sounds like this. I wanna know one thing. And that's it for the video, so if you like the video, please leave a like to see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next videos.